Bikes, bikes and more bikes. For the uninitiated, Copenhagen can seem a remarkably quiet city. It's the cyclist rather than the driver that's king of the road here. And that's the way the city likes it. Already 36% of the people living in Copenhagen use their bike uh, to work or education every day. And we want that to be 50% of the people living in Copenhagen. And if you have to use a car, Copenhagen would rather it ran on electricity or hydrogen. They've been investing heavily in clean fuels. The plan is to cut carbon dioxide emissions by 20% within six years and 50% by 2025. That would make this city the world's first zero emissions capital, with Denmark already the world leader in wind power. But environmentalists say the initiatives could just be papering over the cracks. We have two big coal power plants standing and they will continue to stand. This plan will not change that. As long as we produce our energy and our heat in Copenhagen based on coal power, then we will not, never be truly CO2 neutral in Copenhagen. That's the huge problem here. Yeah. Copenhagen authorities counter that these power plants are outside the city's municipal jurisdiction and they say they are committed to finding viable alternatives. The main focus is on biomass and that's because we have a district heating system covering 98% of the buildings in Copenhagen so it's quite easy for Copenhagen to switch from one energy supply to another and very efficient too. And efficiency is what this city hopes to be all about, building homes which need less and less energy. Ambitious plans, but fitting for the city hosting the UN's crucial climate summit.